You may have thought that the season to be bugged by bugs was over. <laughs> but there is at least one kind of flying pest that survives the first frost and the winter moth. A population is actually expected to explode this week because of the mild temperatures. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo continues our local coverage now. Winter moths are pretty hard to avoid this time of year, but there are some things you can do to cut down on how much they bug you. These winged pests seem to be everywhere this year. Winter moths are once again back, and they are hard to chase away. And they're a relatively new phenomenon over the last five or seven years here in southern New England. These moths are native to Europe, and their population has exploded in Massachusetts and Rhode Island in recent years. This week's relatively mild temperatures have the moths very active right now. What they're doing is they're mating now. This is their mating season. This time of year, they should only be considered a pests to us. They're not a danger. They don't get into our pantry and infest like some of the meal moths and other things. So more of a nuisance factor than anything else. To prevent them from hanging out by your front door, avoid using white lights. And you want to keep your porch lights, you use yellow lights and they're less attractive to the moths. In the spring, their larvae become more than a pest. They can defoliate trees, thousands of trees, including apple, maple, and oak. Scientists have introduced a parasitic fly which kill the larvae. They have had some success with it, but it's not 100% as of yet, but it's one of the things they're using to, to maybe avoid the use of pesticides in some areas. The winter moths typically remain in flight through December. Using pest barriers like a tree wrap in the fall or horticultural oils in the spring can cut down on the number of moths in your yard. In the weather yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.